with a chip on my shoulder and um, all my hard work is now paying off. Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome to Playmaker. And today, we'll be looking at the incredible story behind Ja Morant's rise in the NBA. In this video, we'll chronicle the point guard's humble beginnings and sensational rise from unknown high school sensation to NBA superstar. So, let's get into it. What words come to mind when you hear the name Ja Morant? Exciting, dominance, superstar, flashy. There's no doubt the young point guard is taking the league by storm. But what if I were to tell you that if not for one brief moment in a single series of subsequent events, that you probably would have never seen this young star gracing NBA basketball courts across the country. Demetrius Jamel Ja Morant was born on August 10, 1999 in Dalzell, South Carolina. Both his parents were athletes and played basketball. His father, T, was teammates in high school with Ray Allen, and he later played at Claflin University. Initially wanting to pursue a basketball career overseas, plans changed when he decided to stay home to care for his newborn son, Ja. That he didn't go on to play overseas didn't mean the end of basketball for T or his family. He trained his son in their backyard. His father built him a basketball court where he could practice and also had him jump over huge tractor tires hundreds of times a day to increase Jaw's athleticism, improve his dunking ability, and compete with the bigger guards. It evidently paid off as Morant at a young age would play against kids that were older than him and dominate. Despite exceptional performances, Morant was never satisfied and continued to find ways to improve and excel. Soon after, Morant, alongside Zion Williamson, was a top player while playing for the South Carolina Hornets, a grassroots team based in Columbia. To many, it was an early glimpse into greatness with one person going so far as describing the team's pregame layup lines as dunk highlight shows. While Williamson was the team's designated dunker, Jaw was their passing playmaker. In addition to their success on the court, former teammate Devante Schuler went on to describe how he, Williamson, and Morant would often score 20 plus points during some games. But it was in high school that Morant revealed even more flashes of his unlimited potential. During his years at Crestwood High School, Morant averaged 27 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, and a triple-double per game. Although there were initial worries about his height, Morant hit a growth spurt, and after hitting his first dunk in the ninth grade, he left no doubt that basketball was in his future. Along with several other accolades, he became the school's all-time leading scorer with 1,679 points. You'd think he'd be making a name for himself, only he wasn't. Imagine being the MVP of your region and an All-State player without one single offer. There was no doubt that his basketball IQ was sky high and that he had athleticism running through his veins. Yet, no college scouts saw his potential. Despite Morant's success, it seemed like the chances of getting a college scholarship were slipping away because no coaches were calling. Ring, damn it, ring! His father described the lack of offers as if somebody was beating the hell out of his child. There was even a point when Jaw was thinking about quitting the game he was so dedicated to altogether because he didn't feel the game loved him back. Coaches and scouts seemed to care less what Morant was doing in his small hometown in South Carolina. Enter Murray State University Racers assistant basketball coach, James Kane. He drove about seven hours to attend a South Carolina basketball camp in order to recruit shooting guard, Tevin Brown. It just so happened that Morant was also attending the camp. Morant was sent to another gym in the facility after his name was not called off for a roster spot. While in attendance and observing the players, Kane at one point got hungry. He left the gym to grab a bite to eat at a concession stand. While buying a bag of Doritos and a soda, he could hear balls dribbling. Following the sound, it brought him to the same gym Morant was sent to. Just minutes after observing Morant, it wasn't long before Kane recognized that he had come across something special. Morant was immediately offered a scholarship at Murray State. 
to say his tenure at Murray State was nothing short of impressive is an understatement. As a freshman in 2017, Morant started all 32 games, averaging 12.7 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 6.3 assists per game. He was one of two players in Division I with 400 points, 200 rebounds, and 200 assists. But his value skyrocketed as a sophomore with 24.5 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 10 assists. Morant had made the transition from role player to the go-to guy to make a play when it mattered most. The most memorable highlight of his college career came during a matchup against Alabama, where he delivered a devastating viral poster dunk over two opposing players. To no one's surprise, he went on to win the Bob Cousy Award as the nation's top point guard. Morant had gone from being relatively unknown and not sought after to one of the most exciting and skilled basketball prospects. After his sophomore year, Morant declared for the 2019 NBA Draft and was selected with the second pick by the Memphis Grizzlies. The moment was an emotional one, to say the least, and we can understand why. All the years of tire jumping, basketball drills, and remaining dedicated to the game while being overlooked had paid off and led to this moment. Since that time, Jaw has now become a must-see sensation, winning NBA Rookie of the Year in his first season and improving steadily year after year. Morant is now coming into his own in his third season, with many calling him one, if not the best point guard in the league. Where do you rate yourself when it comes to, you know, point guard position? Uh, top five for sure. Simple like as that. that. I like that. <laughs> Whether he's going airborne to block shots, throwing down masterful dunks, or using his slick ball handling skills to get the ball where he wants to go, Jaw is leaving his mark, all while leading the way for the Memphis Grizzlies in the West, who have now become one of the hottest and most exciting teams in the NBA. Having recently been named to his first All-Star game, it's exciting to know that this is only just the beginning for the young phenom. And then my mindset, it never changed, man. Continue to work hard and never be satisfied. What surprised you most about John ja Morant's story? Are you now going to think twice when you eat a bag of Doritos? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that bell, click that subscribe button for more great content.